Welcome to the Canada Overwatch Fest staff match. We are right now getting everyone in the lobby and today we will watch the Vancouver Titans versus the Toronto Defiant staff. I am Beroy, I'm the general manager of Vancouver and I will be commentating on this game. Um, bear with me as both of those teams are not very high class. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, but I I imagine we'll have a lot of fun. We will start off this whole match. We will actually play uh, very competitively. It's a best of three. The first map is going to be New Queen Street. Whoever wins three maps first is going to be the winner. Um, whoever loses a map is going to pick the next map. And the winner of the previous map is going to pick the side. So, like I said, we're getting everyone into the lobby right now, and then we'll start here shortly. It is going to be a very exciting match, because last year this match already happened. We had Vancouver's Toronto Defiant staff, and last year the Toronto Defiant won pretty handedly. So, uh, this time around, Vancouver is trying to pay back and get some revenge and try to win here. The Toronto Defiant has someone who was an ex-semi-professional Counter-Strike player though, so that's going to be a little bit difficult if uh, if that person is on, on Soldier or Sojourn or something like that. So we'll see how this turns out. We're still waiting for one person to get in the lobby, but Whenever that happens, we'll go into the match. The Vancouver Titans are actually playing in the Vancouver Titans facility today. So, um, Maybe we'll get a sneak peek on onto the camera, see them celebrate or wallow in misery later on. Um, they all wear their jerseys. Unfortunately, not on stream, but maybe they have some pictures on social media. But they all wear, the, all wear their away jerseys, which is fun. And right now, uh, there's a washroom break for Toronto. And then we'll be right back. I'll help with setting up this lobby. So I'll be off the mic for like two minutes. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. This is Dennis. I'm the general manager of the Vancouver Titans. I'll be commentating the staff match of the Vancouver Titans versus the Toronto Defiant. Right now we are experiencing some technical issues. One person has to restart their PC. Uh, after that, we'll go into New Queen Street as our first map. Quite fitting for the Battle of Canada. We will battle everything out on the Toronto map first. 
um, just to give you a brief overview, overview of what the schedule looks like for today. The first map is, like I said, New Queen Street. The second map is going to be on control. The loser will pick um, whichever map we play on. The third map is an escort map. Again, loser picks. The winner will pick which side the, they start on. That means either attack or defense. Uh, the fourth map is a hybrid, hybrid map. And the fifth map, if it comes to that, will be push again. Um, like I said, the team that wins three maps first is going to be the winner of this whole match. And I have to figure out a way of how to show the score, but I guess I'll figure that out on the go between maps, uh, as we don't have a lot of graphical overlays or anything like that but I can I can just you know I can I can make it work somehow or another and I think everyone is here so let's see doing some ready checks doing some ready checks before we go in Okay, the teams are ready, and that means I will start the game right now. Here we go. So, as said, we start this first map of the staff match on beautiful new queen street um, we have five players here for the vancouver titans uh, that is zrm also known as zach we have van titans also known as branson cd mac the video person is connor young x goff is vanessa also working on the content team and IRL Chibi is our player manager Lina on the side of the Toronto Defiant we have as Lucy right now Solviev who is Miriam as far as I know shot by Alan is I'm pretty sure Alan Stella is their manager and future and emote I would not know exactly what their names are in real life but here we go we see a wrecking ball somber soldier and comp 4 to 1 to uh, they take the high ground really fast because i have the lucio here at the start vancouver is a little bit badly positioned but with junker queen they can go in easily a somber behind them is trying to make it hard a nice shout from the from the junker queen though keeps them alive they got the position back but now the wrecking ball comes in huge kills the junker queen really early and toronto is gonna take this first fight for them um just cleaning up another person dropping off the map something i said to the vancouver people earlier was this match as the quality is not very high is going to be about falling off the map and not falling off the map the team that is able to fall off the map less than the other team is probably going to win uh, here we see Samba pretty nice play on the Yana and Vancouver Titans is already one person down already 4v5 always a pretty bad situation um, the Samba might be the ex counter strike player here coming in clutch doing a lot of work in those two first fights and Vancouver is struggling they should reset now but they're not really resetting <laughs> uh, Toronto is just able to take more and more space no reset coming in Vancouver staggering and staggering and that doesn't bode well for this first map uh, now they are finally grouped up and we'll see if they're able to take this next fight, which is going to be very, very difficult. Just because 
Toronto has all five ultimates ready and Vancouver is still waiting on two of theirs. This is a really nice night though. And Vancouver is getting the first pick. Summer comes in clutch again though on the back line. Uh, making it pretty hard. There's a nice May ult and Vancouver is able to clean up a little bit. Lucio is almost dead. Uh, but now Ana is having trouble and the somewhere again comes in clutch twice to take over the game here. Um, and this looks like a one fight for Toronto once again. Just a lot of stagger kills at the end. Uh, the Sombra player having a lot of impact here, but now being fought off a little bit. Uh, and we can see Toronto already above 80 meters, obviously used all the ultimates and that means Vancouver has like some good opportunities coming in here. Let's look at the Sojourn, uh, who is going to pop their ult really soon. Actually, a really fast ult on the Sombra, maybe a little bit out of position. The ult is now and this should be a 154 Toronto. Great rampage there and Zack ZRM actually got four kills in this fight. Uh, nice for him. They did manage to keep the Ana ult, which is always good at lower ranks, you know, you want to save your ults. <laughs> it's easy to just spam everything and arguably they didn't have to use the Junker Queen ult there, but you know. At least they have the Ana ult, so that's good. Um, the Ana is hacked now though. Has a little bit of trouble to stay alive here. But at the end of the day stays alive. Sombor comes in again. Able to get a kill very early. And Vancouver is down one person again. 3v4 right now. And this goes down to a one fight. Four to one to very very quickly. The Zenyatta here not very contested at all. And the Lucio on to one to side has their ultimate now. Um, at least Vancouver learned from their lesson against Samba. Now grouping up, which is which is nice. Shot by Allen is far away from the team. Uh, they'll have to try to group up. But until then, it's a five v four for Vancouver. But a very early kill again from the Sombra. I wonder how that happened. A nice West is able to uh, maintain the structure here for Toronto. A beat coming in very clutch and now it looks grim for Vancouver. They're trying to kill the Wrecking Ball here. Do that, but shot by Allen with an ultimate goes in very deep. Able to get two very nice right picks off here. Uh, a very late ult from the Mercy, but maybe they're able to come back here. ZRM getting some kills, and suddenly it looks like they're not going to lose the map quite yet. It's pretty difficult though to come for a comeback from a hundred meter deficit. So we'll see how Toronto is going to. Uh, uh, how Vancouver rather is going to try to do that. The Symmetra ult is ready, um, but more importantly, the Wrecking Ball ult is ready as well, and that could be huge if they are not careful here on Vancouver's side. This ultimate can. Oh, a very, very fast ultimate, a very fast kill on the Junker Queen. Basically, nice Vancouver here again, and. While the Sojourn was able to get a couple of kills, it looks like Vancouver is not going to win this fight. And once again Toronto, from like a position where they are down ultimates, is able to take the fight. And if they continue doing that in the next few maps, then it's going to be very difficult for Vancouver indeed. They have to be more disciplined, try to not lose people early on here. You see they are trying to take positions, but shot by Allen with a really nice headshot right click out of nowhere. Taking the first kill again, but it's 4v4 now. They got the Zomba and a nice res here to get back the people advantage. The Wrecking Ball ult is very useless, doesn't do much here. The fight is already over, even though two people just suicide. Ah, <coughs> we put that down as some platinum plays. Is that, is that too high? Gold level place. 
jumping into the wrecking ball balls. Maybe they just wanted to look cool. I'm not sure. But something we can do right now going into the next fight is go into the Vancouver Titans comms. So let's do a quick comm check while uh, the Sombra is jumping in. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry about that. Sombra's a bullet. Yeah. Behind you, behind you, behind you, Branson. Yeah. Oh, Sombra! I have my own wait next fight. Fuck. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Only one push. Okay, Vancouver comes check. Sounds very good right now. Uh, we can go into the Toronto Defiant and see what their cons sound like right now. I should tell. She went to the bottom, she went to the bottom! Right side, right side! Okay, I got it, I got away. Yeah, I don't know, we'll be together. Smash yeah, turrets, yeah. my turrets. Oh. My ult is ready, my ult is ready. Just don't get junk ult. Get that with, with this ult yet? Uh, Wait, Tim ult. Oh, why are we here? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, our team through! Our team through! Okay, so uh, they are quite right there. Their team definitely through going through the Symmetra ult with some and not waiting it out. But that means that right now Toronto has a lot of ultimates ready. And I apologize for the tank and DPS not being sorted in the right way. I'll get. I'll make sure that this is corrected for the next map. But right now we see ZRM here going in deep. They get rid of the Sombra very early and Sombra has been something that has been troubling Vancouver. But now the Junker Queen has to be very careful, otherwise they lose a the member here again. Um, let's see how far Vancouver can go. They're coming up with three ultimates and they are getting stagger kills. Slowly but surely, Van Titans has to be careful here. Great name, by the way. Great name of the content person, Branson, to just call yourself Van Titans. Uh, a lot of a lot of faith in your job, I suppose. Um, Vancouver Titans coming close to the checkpoint here. Toronto is going to be able to contest very soon. A nice shout, and we'll see what they do. Here is the Sojourn OT. And that was a very nice right click. They get the rest off. Oh, they almost kill the Symmetra. And Van Titans here again coming in clutch after the rest. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize. Um, but yeah, Toronto has to be careful. The lead is dwindling. We are in overtime now. And the Lucio ult is still ready. They are swapping to Ana. They are swapping to Genji. They are swapping to Sojourn with the other players. So we'll see what that does. They're, they want to go in very hard, I suppose, with this composition. Oh, a very nice nade of the Ana. But the Symmetra ult kind of saves them. Vancouver Titans is trying to push through, but it's smart of Toronto to just wait behind. But here we go, Genji. Very low and he dies early. Another Junker Queen ult. Very great Lucio ultimate to counter that. Junker Queen is deep now. The Symmetra of Vancouver Titans is deep as well, but they make it work. Oh my god, the comeback at the very last second. Vancouver Titans actually winning it. Let's go into the comps right now to listen to this. It's a turret, it's a turret, it's a turret. Oh. Okay, I'm good. Wow, a lot of excitement there for Titan <laughs> Steph. Uh, obviously, great turnaround. I did not expect to come the comeback from zero to uh, 110 meters. Um, very big here. And now, while I set up the next lobby, I shall put you on the static screen here and check out what they want to play. Um, I will also go off mic for like two seconds or like one minute. So I'll be right back. Vancouver Titans up 1-0 in the staff match against Toronto Defined. Big, big turnaround here. Almost kind of a reverse sweep situation on just this one map. Um, but I'll be right back.
Okay, we are back here at the staff match. Um, Vancouver Titans playing against Toronto Defiant the, for the Canada Overwatch Fest. We need one minute uh, for a break and then we head into Ilios. The Vancouver Titans turned around the first map that was New Queen Street from a 0 to 100 meter deficit actually won in overtime very clutch moments here at the very end great symmetrical old a big rampage and um in all the chaos that Toronto defined was not able to withstand the pure waff of the vancouver titans that lost last year and now want to get revenge here at the staff match um so while the teams are getting ready let me try to set up a little thing of um of just text so you can see what the score is uh, oh yeah great score for the white team so that should be a zero and we just put it on the left and right i guess i guess something like that works Great, great setup here. Uh, very proud of myself. So 1-0 right now for the Vancouver Titans. Um, yeah, the Vancouver Titans actually swapped out the players. They have a substitute. So the Vancouver Titans are going to be swapping in Josh as the support. And out goes IRL Chibi. Josh, his real name is also Josh. And... Um, he is working on the content side for the Vancouver Titans. He's working on the social media side, as far as I'm aware. So there's a little bit of background for you. And I will get you guys in the game as soon as everyone is ready. I think we are just waiting for the Vancouver Titans group. Because there was so much excitement going on. They really need to go to the bathroom i suppose um let's see i did completely ignore the chat so far but if there's anything up then i will look at it right now the commentator is me <laughs> uh it's dennis i'm the general manager of the vancouver titans and i am here solo so that's why it's a lot of fun listening to my cracked out voice in the middle of a cold, um, my third cold in a row this month. Great health times. Hopefully the smog over Vancouver clears soon because I think that would help. But yeah, if you have not seen the end of the match, you should definitely go back in the YouTube video and uh, check out the comms for the Vancouver Titans. It was quite exciting, I have to say. Um, and it looks like Vancouver is ready. Toronto is ready as well. So uh, let me let me just do this real quick, and then we go into the game. The next one is going to be. Ilios. So here we go. Now arriving at Ilios. And okay, and let me add like a score here real quick to um <laughs> Okay, maybe that's a little bit too big. Okay. So right now the Vancouver Titans are up one and Toronto is down one uh, and I'm sorry if I'm repetitive I'm just trying to do everything at once spectating commentating commentating everything and let me fix this real quick so we have emote here and then we have the supports so now you can actually see uh, DPS and supports and tanks on the same 
position, so it should be a little bit easier. It looks like the Vancouver Titans are going with the same comp in terms of DPS and um, tanks, but they play with Baptiste now instead of Ana. Toronto is going with the Lucio Hammond comp again. With Soldier and Sojourn, they will start. So they take the point very, very quickly. Uh, Vancouver will... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Vancouver will have to uh, take positions back here. The Hammond going very, very far. And Vancouver is taking it very slowly indeed. We'll see what they can do here. Um, a lot of great positions for Toronto actually. And they're able to just shoot and do whatever they want. Vancouver has a lot of trouble just going forward. You see the soldier here not clearing up. Should be able to get some kills in the end here. Yeah, there we go. Vancouver should lose this first fight. Toronto very clean, great setup, and uh, honestly, we need some more decision making here from Vancouver if we want to see the guys win. Uh, right now, they need to group up again, so let's wait. Let's hope they group up. They group up. Oh, the Junker Queen very deep already, but I guess it works. ZRM doing a good job last time, but oh, great right click headshot here from Emote. Um, he was a good Sombra player last map, arguably the best player so far in the match. Almost falls off the map here, but the one falling off the map is actually the Junker Queen. Like I said, falling off the map is going to be a big thing here in this match of, um, let's call them not quite pro players. Uh, but yeah, whoever falls off the map less will win this match. So far, very, very dominant play by Toronto. They are getting their first ultimates up here already with the Lucio and the Sojourn ultimate. Sojourn has to be a bit careful. The swap to Sigma now for ZRM means they are trying to bit be a bit more pokey, which I suppose makes some kind of sense with their comp. Uh, generally, the comp doesn't make sense. Oh my god. Emote here. Very good play again. Gets a kill very quickly and Toronto just dominant. Is Vancouver able to come back from that? It looks very much like New Queen Street did at the start of last map. And you'll see the Sojourn v Sojourn battle is gonna come in. The ultimate here from Van Titans. He is very troubled though because the Lucio ult was popped at the same time. He's trying to stay alive. Oh, he's going in very deep now and probably will die. Yeah, here we go. Vancouver Titans. Not touching the point! Big C9 situation! I can't believe it. There were three more ultimates to be coming up, but uh, it looks like it's a 100 0 situation here for Toronto Defiant. Uy uy uy, if you're a Vancouver fan, that did not look good. <laughs> Uh, and since this is a Vancouver channel, let's just be a little bit biased and hope that we can turn it around for the second map. And we see here the Diva swap. No, not really. We'll go with Zarya. One thing that uh, Vancouver is aware of is that Emote is an ex, like, semi pro Counter Strike player. So, Emote probably the highest rated player in this game. Even though it's Overwatch and not quite Counter Strike, we can assume that this person here has is probably going to have the biggest impact so playing Zarya uh, playing Diva might be intelligent just to counter that a little bit Toronto taking out the map here first again they play Wotok this time and CD Mac goes down the map this is I think the fourth or fifth environmental kill on the side of Toronto uh, big things always happen when you fall off the map the team that falls off the map in this match, Les will win the match. That is my prediction. But um, yeah, we'll see. It's still 4v4 here. Toronto takes the map a little bit earlier than the rest. And let's check out the Rotog. Uh, very, very nice pick here, obviously, with the well in the middle. Vancouver Titans down one person again. And it's going to be very difficult for them. They're trying to rush in with the Zarya a little bit, but obviously difficult against this very brawl heavy comp with the Wotok. You can see Emote here has like no 
no one ta uh, taking care of him whatsoever. The Walter gets a quick pick even though t Vancouver is doing a good job going in together right now. Emote a little bit lost and I think everyone's focusing him now. They know this guy is the biggest challenger here for Vancouver. The Mercy a little bit out of position. Uh, for Toronto. The Mercy a bit out of position, gets a quick kill. I think they kind of forgot where the Sojourn is, which is unfortunate because it should have been an easy kill, but you know. It is what it is. Um, we come up here with a Zarya ult, with the Sojourn ult, and now a Farah for, <coughs> for Toronto. Zarya gets a quick kill, but then gets dropped by the Wotog. That doesn't look good for Vancouver at all. Uh, a lot of ultimates being popped, even though maybe they shouldn't. Oh, a big quest on CD Mac here. Does that do anything? It's going to be hard, the, especially with the Wotog ultimate. Uh, it looks like they're not able to contest this point here much longer. Vancouver did obviously um, cap the point though and are at like a comfortable 50% right now. So they're okay, staggering it a little bit. We'll see if the Zarya dies here, but it doesn't look like it right now. Uh, something I'm interested in is how will they contest the Pharah because with their comp right now, it looks like it should only be Sojourn and Baptiste and... Um, on this skill level, I don't think it's easy to contest a Pharah player. Uh, we'll see, yeah, Pharah, a lot of free shooting here. They are very scared of her. Pharah is going to ult very soon. There was a Zarya ult thrown. Zarya got the kill, but died as well. And the Pharah coming up from behind, tries to go on the Symmetra here. It's a little bit scared though. It's a little bit low as well. The Zarya got west, which is big for Vancouver. They got the soldier now. What is Farah gonna do? Farah is the game breaker here. Is Farah able to do anything? It doesn't look like it. It looks like Vancouver is taking back the point. So back and forth. Oh, maybe not. There's the Farah ult. Not the greatest, but does enough. Gets two kills here. And now it's 3v3 coming up on the point. Two supports versus two supports. And a tank versus... Uh, DPS uh, West could be big here, but it looks like Vancouver is not able to stabilize. And Toronto slowly but surely taking this map pretty dominantly. Let's see if Bank Titans can turn it around. It's going to be very difficult, especially with this Moira ult. The Pharah is completely uncontested, and it looks like this one is going to Toronto. Let's go into their comms right now and hear what they have to say. Nice. With Sojourn. Yeah. Nothing's nice. worse than missing shots Let's with Sojourn. Go. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, it says Stella uh. Star playing Overwatch. Yay! <laughs> I'm playing Overwatch too. Wirely. So not quite as much excitement on the Toronto side here. We'll watch the play of the game for the World Talk. Um was obviously the old a lot of nice hooks. Uh, something we see in these teams is there's not a lot of stabilizing going on. That's why I'm talking constantly because fights are just going on forever. So let me set up this next map and then we'll be right back. So one minute and I'll see you soon.
Okay, welcome back here to the Canada Overwatch Fest. The Vancouver Titans are playing the Toronto Defiant in a staff match for honor and glory. Um, it is 1-1 right now. Vancouver Titans to the Toronto map, New Queen Street, as the first map. And now Toronto equalized with a very dominant win on Elios. The Vancouver Titans are going to be able to pick the next map, which is Escort. And right now I'm being informed that their pick is Dorado. So we'll head to Dorado next. And um, we'll see what Toronto wants to do for the side if they want to attack or defend first. But yeah, right, right now it is one to one or 1-1, one, one, Toronto Defiant versus Vancouver Titans. Um, the Toronto Defiant will defend first, so uh, let's give me a second just to fix everything. <laughs> Okay, and I think we will go into this map fairly soon. Just doing ready checks. Okay, everyone is ready and that looks like we are... Uh, sorry, I'm just doing everything at once. I'm the whole production crew, I'm the commentator, my name is Boy. I'm Dennis, the general manager of the Vancouver Titans, and we are going into the third map right now. Third map is Dorado. The score is 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, now I have to move the numbers. <laughs> Very nice scuffed, completely not scuffed overlay here in this staff match. Um, the Vancouver Titans did a player swap. They swapped out young X Goff, the Mercy player, for IRL Chibi, who played Anna on that first map of Toronto. So we'll see if we can expect the Anna again. Uh, yeah, I, I know that Vancouver is ready. Um, right now, Vancouver is on the D.Va, which might be intelligent against Emote, who's been having a big match so far. Um, probably the most impactful player as far as I can see where to be honest I could not see much at all because I'm trying to talk and think at the same time and that is not always easy here you can always wake up and then okay um, sorry I had the game muted for a second there but we are going in now the Vancouver Titans are attacking and they are actually staying on the D.Va here with May and Sojourn. And yes, we have an Ana again with the Moira this time. Toronto Defiant with the Wrecking Ball again. Big slam here early on the Somber. Oh, big Ana Nate as well. The Somber can do much here. The Wrecking Ball is very low, but it looks like they're not able to capitalize on that. Lucio dies. So that means we're in a 4v4 right now. Um, Josh being hacked, big Ananate again from Toronto, they do kill the Sombra, but I want to look at that Ana play from Stella, the player manager of uh, Toronto Defiant. Uh, she had some big nades so far, but now she has to try to get out. Big knight here from Vancouver side this time, and they are able to get some nice dagger kills, maybe even get the point here very early on, so that was a very decisive play. I like the D.Va here a lot, to be honest, uh, the nice Asamba very, very easily. And uh, Emote actually does swap to Soldier now, so he sees that he did not have the impact that he had on that second map. And very smart swap coming in very fast, but the D.Va already having ultimate here. Zack very fast on that. We'll see if he's going to use it aggressively. I think the general strategy when I talked to him was to use it defensively. Oh, nice sleep here on the Wrecking Ball and with the wall that Toronto wasn't able to support at all. So that's a very early kill. And we are in a 5v4 again. The Diva going on the Soldier and that is exactly what I told the guys beforehand. I did a little bit of coaching where I told them 
if emote is hard carrying the Toronto team. Oh, oh, what is that? A big fat finger here on Vancouver side. But to just finish off the thought, if emote is carrying the Toronto team, then you do want to swap on the diva and just hard dive on the soldier. Wow, big nade and sleep here again. A uh, great place from IL Chip against the Wrecking Ball. Not doing much at all and wow, Vancouver is just flying through Toronto right now. Incredible. I don't know if it's a map, but something changed. The first two maps were definitely going into favor of Toronto, but now Vancouver, very dominant. It looks like this suits the style of the Vancouver team a lot better. We'll see there's a nice, uh, there's, a, there's a fast ultimate by Allen now. See if he gets any right click headshots. Ooh, not quite. The Wrecking Ball is a lot more passive now. Got scared from those last two sleep darts. Vancouver already close to third point here. When are they gonna contest? Are they gonna contest at all? Oh, there's the Wrecking Ball ultimate. We see if it does much. A mail thrown in deep and it gets emote. Emote is dead. Wow, great, <coughs> great plays here from Vancouver. Oh my god. I wish they would have played like that in the first two maps, but I mean, better late than never. We have an Anna ultimate coming up. Can Toronto contest here? The soldier ult is coming in. Nice May ult to block. May wall to block. The diva is on soldier's gun. On soldier's behind. Uh, and at the end of the day, there was enough pressure to get Toronto over the edge though. Oh, an ultimate on the May? There's the ultimate from Zack as well, gets a kill here against the Reaper that came out of wave fast. Ooh, a nice animate and it looks like Vancouver is going to cap so fast. They're forgetting about the Moira here, but it's okay. The May wall does wonders. A lot of great May walls here and four minutes remaining. Let's go into the console quick. Are you ahead on the stream? You no. said we were running. Oh, no, 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 it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay, let's keep this up. Keep this up. Yeah, so uh, I think nice mood here for Vancouver. Um, they know they, they did really well. Great May walls, honestly. Um, in my opinion, those were the big game winner. Uh, the sleep darts, obviously, as well. And I think just great team play compared to the first two maps. The guys are doing things together. Toronto is very split up now, which, uh, I mean, the Wrecking Ball compositions are a lot harder to play, so it makes some sense. Uh, we'll see how they set up here, but I think Vancouver wants to stay with this composition. Obviously, uh, playing how they played just now. And Toronto has to think about how to how to counter this. Like really, how do you how do you become more of a team in <laughs> in 30 seconds, 22 seconds rather? Because that's the big task they have ahead of them now. Uh, defending is obviously not as easy as a team, just generally speaking, like you want to be on the same page, but it's a lot easier to do that when you're attacking and you go in together. Defending, it's not quite that easy. Uh, emote here on the Widowmaker. Trying to get a quick pick, but Vancouver knows and plays this smartly. Oh, oh like that. Oh, Emote is actually gonna stay on the Van Widow and so many people peeking, but CD Mac with the pick. Wow. Speaking about snipers, big snipe here from CD Mac. Um, I don't think they would have jumped down, but not that bad either. Get a pick here later on, and now it's just stagger kills against Toronto. So. Vancouver doing well here. Emote still on the Widow. Uh, now on the Soldier is swapping back. To onto, uh, Vancouver is holding very closely now. And we'll see. Obviously no ultimates yet. There's a Zenyatta too to create some pressure on the tanks here probably. On the tank because it's just D.Va. Uh, emote here. Nice little go on the side. They are all focusing the Winston, but it doesn't work. And there's a nice right kick by shot by Allen. Killing off the Moira. And so far this has been working for Toronto. They do actually get the Winston now. Shot by Allen again with a big right click. Wow. Gets three kills here. There's a D.Va ult just to remake. 
uh, does the remake, but now it looks like Vancouver has to reset here because they're not going to be able to sustain that. I don't know why the diva flies away. Shouldn't stagger here, should just die in my opinion. But Zack is trying to stay alive. I'm not sure about this. And it honestly is going to look like similar to the attack from Vancouver that uh, that Vancouver on the defense here can't really contest. We'll see if they try, but it doesn't look like it. So they do the smart thing and they stay away from it. Um, wait here for the second point. We have an Anna ultimate coming up, but there's a lot of ultimates on the Toronto side. Uh, Kiriko is actually being played. I didn't touch on that and maybe we want to look at this for a little bit. Shot by Allen again with right click. I think shot by Allen got like almost every kill here on the Toronto side. Uh, the soldier ultimate, beautiful tracking obviously and Vancouver is being pushed back. Which is... Oh, okay. I don't know why the soldier ult is being popped, but I mean... That's what it is on this skill level. <laughs> Van Titan's actually getting the revenge kill and Vancouver might have a chance to get the card back here very very soon. Uh, the Moira ult, I think just to keep Van Titans here alive, so Josh trying to go in hard, nice mate, and right click Moira, but didn't do much in the end. We have Kiriko ult coming up, and this is a very exciting thing, wasn't seen so far in Overwatch League, and the Kiriko ult is in the May ult! That doesn't do anything! You can't move forward when you're frozen! You should remember that. You cannot move forward when you're frozen. So Toronto wasting a couple of ults and Vancouver stabilizing here at the second point. Looking pretty, pretty good right now. <coughs> I am so sorry for coughing. Um, but yeah, the, the Kiriko I think is kind of a pick against the Ana here because there were so many nades and sleeps on the first on the attack that they want to play Kiriko here just to counter that a little bit. Vancouver trying to fall back because there's another soldier ult and the D.Va is trying to keep people alive but doesn't quite work. At the end of the day one of the Vancouver players is dead and now it's a bit late to jump in and contest. Uh, Toronto on the D.Va as well actually and wow there's a D.Va ult kill on Stella. The Anna kills Emote and so Vancouver actually able to stabilize here 3v3. How did this happen? How did I miss all of that? Horrible observing here on my part, if I have to say that. But I, I want to <laughs> I would love to go back and see how the Anna killed the soldier here. Big Nate again, Kyuko has to use the E, but that means Moira has a lot of damage coming up. Big Diva ult and it splits everyone up. Shot by Allen got a nice right click too, so now Toronto kind of turning it around 4v5 with two big ultimates and probably able to capture that second point here. Obviously they're not anywhere close to the time that Vancouver set, but if they get to the third points at all I think it would be big. We'll see how the next Kyoko ult goes. The first thing in the Overwatch League, well this isn't quite Overwatch League, but the first Kyoko <laughs> played by the Vancouver Titans in somewhere, I guess. Uh, or, well, it's by Toronto to find. We'll see how they use it. Now, this time it's a lot better, but the Vancouver Titans on the flank, so the Kiriko ult not really going forward. A lot of attack speed, though, you can see it. Vancouver playing in the womb, though, all by themselves. That, that was actually really smart, so something I want to just point out after they all clear up here. So, Vancouver was all in this room. Meanwhile Toronto was split between half in that room and half not in that room. Actually very smart by Vancouver because you basically create like a 5v2, 5v3 situation. Um, which and the, at the end uh, led to them winning this fight. And with this is going to be the last fight actually. We have two ultimates for Vancouver and only uh, maybe one to two ultimates coming up for Toronto. But I want to go into the Vancouver comms and listen to them right now. Hey, Diva's pushing in, Diva's pushing in. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's all good. Oh, fuck. Focus, Diva, focus, Diva. Focus, Diva, focus, Diva. Zach, watch out. She's on the back, she's on the back, she's on the back. Zach, watch out. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, 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 we're good. 
Ten seconds, let's get this right. Emo zone, emo zone, emo zone! Go, 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 Wow, the Vancouver Titans, so much energy, and CD Mac here did a lot of work at the very end, and it is the very end play here, I think he did a lot of work, Very got emote low very early, actually got the kill, got three kills here if I remember correctly, there you go, and then has the ultimate to just finish it all off, great play by CD Mac, finishing off that map here, great play in general on um, Dorado for CD Mac, for the May, and... Um, yeah, this means Vancouver Titans, <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Vancouver Titans are up 2-1 right now, um, so we have one more map win to go for Vancouver and they would take this match. The next map is going to be a hybrid one and Toronto is going to pick that map. Um, yeah, I, honestly, on that Dorado, the Vancouver Titans played a lot better. I think they went in together as a team every single time. I don't know if it's a diva pick or if it's something else, but uh, they seem revitalized like a completely different team compared to the first two maps. Um, let me just figure out... which map we are playing because I'm doing everything here as the sole production crew. Uh, my name is Dennis. I'm the general manager of the Vancouver Titans. If you'd like to know, I'm casting this match. I'm spectating this match. I'm producing this match. I'm um, doing a lot of things this match. So uh, we go to Kingsville next. Oh. And one second, one second, one second. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out if Vancouver wants to attack or defend first. Vancouver is going to defend first, which means that I'll have to change the names. The Vancouver Titans up 2-1 in the Battle of Canada staff match. Last year, Toronto defined one against Vancouver. If I remember correctly, it was a very dominant 3-0. Um, and it looks like Vancouver, uh, Toronto is ready for the next map. We're going into Kingsville. And if Vancouver wins this, this match is over. So... Without further ado, without any breaks, without any analyst desk, because I am the analyst desk, we will now go into map 4 here, Kingsville, in the Battle of Canada staff match. So, 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 we are up 2-1 right now. We, meaning the Vancouver Titans. A lot of uh, excitement, a lot of desk slamming here. Um, I'm commentating, I'm the boy, general manager of the Vancouver Titans, previously for Toronto, by the way. Uh, someone in chat pointed that out and is completely right. I did not even think about that. But right now, obviously cheering for the Vancouver Titans, who are going to defend first here. Uh, on Kingswell, it is Toronto's map choice as the loser last round. They get to choose. And Vancouver Titans look like they want to stay with the same comp. Good idea because this comp has been working really, really well for them. Uh, Toronto has to think of something new. And it looks like they're going back to the Lucio, which has worked really well for them in the first two maps. It's just about, like, honestly, on this skill level, it's all about which team can stay together better because... 
if you as a team stay together as a team and the others don't, then you will win. And here we go. Emote! Easy headshot! Easy, easy headshot. That's a 5v4 situation right off the bat. Everyone on Vancouver Titan's side standing still, not seeing that the Widow is coming out. Not expecting it at all. And... Oh, emote again. Seeing a lot of heads pop out, but can Vancouver Titans wait here for the fifth player? No! Van Titans down now. And uh, that's going to be a very, very difficult situation. I think the first point is basically lost. ZRM gets a kill here on the Widow, and he gets a kill on the Mercy, actually. Goes in further, gets a kill on the second TPS as well. Yes, shot by Alan is dead, and ZRM single handedly turning it around. With a little bit of help from Connor here, CD Mac in the end. But Vancouver Titans unexpectedly didn't even give up a tick. ZRM going in deep. I, I'll just say Zach because honestly saying ZRM is horrible. So Zach going in deep. Um, while Toronto is trying to go in even deeper. Does a lot here. Uh, now s emote swap to the Sombra. And the hack on the D.Va comes in clutch because D.Va Mac goes down very early. Stella on the Zenyatta now. Trying to hit some heads here. A lot of very low people on Toronto and with the Zenyatta Lucio there's not a lot of healing going around so if Vancouver can come back here especially now that the D.Va is back in Mac they might be able to contest and get some kills early. Yes! The, there's an Ajax there from the Lucio! Ajax from the Lucio l tries to use their ult but dies in the progress in the Sojourn E so that must make uh, that must make Branson, who's Van Titans, the Sojourn player, very happy. Um, big Ajax, but now we have like a five ultimates versus four ultimate situation. And honestly, I I couldn't tell you what's going to happen. Uh, the Somber ult comes in very early and shot by Allen, very fast ultimate as well. A lot of very fast kills and there's not much that Bank Titan, uh, Vancouver Titans can do. Zack is just going to die here. No ults used by Vancouver Titans. They didn't expect the Samba ult at all. Just completely off guard. I think using three ults there from Toronto is a little bit much. But you know, what wins you the point, wins you the point. And at the end of the day, uh, even if you overuse a little bit, it's okay. Especially in, in these kind of... Uh, on these kind of skill level games. But yeah, Vancouver has to try to take back position here. And let's go into the overhead view and see. Uh, again, five ultimates for Vancouver. They should use ultimates fast. They should use them very fast. The heck on the D.Va again. And the mailed very deep. The supports are completely split from everyone else here onto Wanto. And Vancouver staying together. Again, that's what you want. CD Mac going in a little bit too deep. But it's going to be okay when Titans wastes their ult here. Oh, but you know, it's okay. Get a nice sliding right click stuff. Oh, big nade. A big sleep. But instead of clicking on the head, when Titans did not click on the head and no one died. <coughs> uh, and that means Vancouver still with three ultimates. Very disciplined here, not overusing their ults. Very surprising for like gold. Platinum, silver players, whatever they are on. Uh, but yeah, very disciplined, only using two ults. Very, very good actually for them. There's somewhere on the flank again, gets a hack on Josh, and Josh's ult is the one they should use next. Because if Josh uses ult here fast, then they can do much. But Vancouver, a little bit passive, a little bit too passive to be honest. Josh using his ult now. There's the next Lucio ult. We have a remake going on. No one's getting split. Josh with a lot of damage output here at the end. But the Wrecking Ball is coming back. And the Wrecking Ball has ult now. And CD Mac in a very bad situation. The Diva completely split as well. So can Vancouver come back from this? Zack is dead. His Mac is dead at least. And Zack dies here as well. There's a lot of people on the left but Zack didn't communicate or no one listened but whoo! Nice nade from the Anna. Gets a kill on the summer very very fast and Vancouver might be able to stabilize especially if Branson hits a headshot here No headshot Trying to stay alive now the Moira is going to do a lot of damage Stella did pretty well 
in some uh, on on the Queen Street in my opinion and trying to get kills here but didn't work. Here comes Branson with the right clicks. Oh, a completely wasted nano, but you know, it's okay. Maybe he gets a stagger kill. Probably not. That's okay. <laughs> you know, you gotta waste ults to farm ults, I suppose. Is that a thing? You gotta waste ults to farm ults. Uh, whatever it is, it's one minute remaining on the Toronto side. They have two ultimates coming up, and I think we want to go into Toronto comms right now. Hey, a friend, watch out. Me, me, no block. I vault. Uh, I mean, I see, I see, I see, I see, I No. I mean, that was no. You heard it here first. You did not see it. Because <laughs> I'm horrible at observing. Apparently. But another Ajax. And that means another ult, Lucio ult that does absolutely nothing. Ajax again, for those who don't know, means that Lucio is ulting but dies before the beat is dropped. Before Lucio hits the ground and the ultimate is not even triggered at all. So now the Vancouver Titans on this last fight has an ultimate advantage. Can go in emote here. The, Van the, the D.Va can go in very deep. The, the Hammond actually gets a kill on the May. How did this happen? Shouldn't have happened. The D.Va with the Remake trying to split everyone off. Hammond dies and that means it's a 4v4 now. It's a 4v4. We have a tank more on Vancouver side. But shot by Alan with all dies here. Uh, we have a Nano Sojourn on Vancouver side. And Vancouver, let's go into the comps. Down, fuck. Lena gets Zack, Lena gets Zack. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I almost have ult, I almost have ult, I almost have ult. Use those ult, guys. One of the healers dead, one of the healers dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Ball, 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 Come on, guys. Well done. Such a winnable game. Such a winnable. Okay, we got this. Okay, oh my god. <coughs> I am so sorry for coughing into your faces. But Vancouver Titans, you can hear it. A lot more comms going on. When we first swapped to Toronto, there was a lot of silence. A, a lot more communication on Vancouver side. Um, they are playing better as a team. And from my sources of knowledge that I have all around the league, my big network of information has told me that the Vancouver Titans staff actually scrimmed together while the Toronto Defiance staff did not. So maybe there's a little bit of conflict going on internally on the Toronto Defiance side, who knows. Um, but apparently a lot more teamwork here on Vancouver and again I shall remind you if Vancouver wins this map it is over and Vancouver will have won the Battle of Canada sponsored by TD staff match of Vancouver Titans against Toronto Defiant again last year Toronto to my <laughs> remembering did win dominantly against Vancouver in the staff match so this would be the revenge and um, Vancouver would kind of equalize that score. Uh, here the setup is going to be fairly similar except that there's a Reaper Symmetra now. I'm curious uh, what the idea behind that is. We still we are playing with Lucio Moira here on Toronto side um, which did work for them on the first two maps. Again a big sleep on the Wrecking Ball but nothing comes out of it. Uh, um, We'll see what the Ana player does next. Those sleeps and those nades have been pretty big. CD Mac a little bit for too far forward. Stays alive here through the block. The nade has to be used defensively and I think it's a little bit of a reset coming in here. Just trying to stay alive but the Reaper going in deep does a lot of work. The DPS players for Toronto obviously trying to do a lot here. Um, and so far this map has been working. This is a map. 85% ultimate charge. Everyone else is like most other people are below 50%. So we'll see a very, very, very fast ultimate for Symmetra. And it's all about if Vancouver can go in together through this ultimate. But does Symmetra die early? No. The Symmetra ult actually not placed ideally in my opinion. But 
this metal here with so much damage. Look at that laser emote just hard carrying the team right now. Oh, gets naded. But gets away with 15 HP. A little bit scary, a little bit scary, not gonna lie. Um, two ultimates coming up for Vancouver. Toronto is still farming a little bit. But, yeah, we have to set up slowly. Nate has to be used defensively again. Which makes it very difficult. Josh here with the ultimate. Trying to keep everyone alive, but... CD Mac inside of the Hammond ult. Not the greatest. Yeah. Very difficult. Well, a wasted... It's a uh, wasted Moira ult here at the end on Toronto side, but uh, generally Toronto very, very dominant. Another Symmetra ult! That's insane. The Symmetra is getting so much value. I think the strategy of swapping to D.Va against Emote to kind of counter him works, but it doesn't work if you play Symmetra because you can't you can't defense matrix Symmetra beam. <gasps> oh! Symmetra is dead! This is so big! This is the one player they wanted to get rid of. Uh, Van Titans here tries to right click a it doesn't work. Tries to stay alive here. Completely out of position, the Anna. The team not really together anymore, and Van Titans dying to the Symmetra turret and then sliding into the Reaper ult. Um, Zack is trying to stay alive, gets a Reaper kill on, on the Reaper and should get out now, but is still on the point. Will die here very, very shortly. And it's another reset for Vancouver. Vancouver used a lot of ultimates there, but they also lost their Ana very, very fast. And I think it's about if they can utilize this this um, nano boost very quickly, because they have to go in fast, in my opinion, and they have to try to get rid of Emote or the Reaper. Uh, both the Toronto DPS are doing a lot of work here. So if they're able to go in fast, then it might do much. Oh, a late nano and Zack is already dead when it comes in, but a nade and a kill here on the on the Symmetra, and that means Van Titans trying to turn it around, but again another Hammond ult, and this does not look good right now for Vancouver. No ultimates to talk about. Toronto has a Moira ult coming up, and they swap to the soldier here just to just to hit point. Let's go into the Toronto cons. I have my ult. Diva, 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 Diva. S. Big. Nice. Hey. Nice. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Symmetra, dude. Symmetra, Kim. <laughs> 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 so yeah, a lot more excitement here on the Toronto side now. They equalize the score 2-2 and in my opinion, I agree with what the Toronto player said here. Symmetra doing it. The D.Va counter against Emote doesn't work if Emote doesn't shoot. And um, that means we actually go to a map 5. Map 5 here in the Canada Overwatch Fest presented by TD staff match of the Vancouver Titans against Toronto Defiant. Um, and before we go into map 5, I'll figure out which map this is and I will just quickly clear my nose and be right back in about 2 minutes. So bear with the silence. And go back in the YouTube video if you want to look at some of those exciting moments.
Okay, okay, here we are. Um, we will play Colosseo as last map. Uh, this is another push map, and it's going to decide this match. We are playing the Canada Overwatch Fest, Vancouver Titans vs. Toronto Defined Staff Match presented by TD Bank. And we are doing some ready checks now. Vancouver Titans is swapping out their Anna player. IL Chibi and they put in their Mercy player, uh, Young X Goff. Her name is Vanessa. I'll just say Vanessa because it's a lot easier. And uh, the ready checks mean both teams are ready. So, seeing that, it means we are heading into map 5. We play again the staff match Canada Overwatch Fest, Toronto Defined vs. Vancouver Titans. It is 2-2 right now. The winner of this map is winning the entire match. We are on Colosseo in Italy, I, I believe. Um, as you see, there's a Colosseo right here. I can fly above it. See the beautiful black outlines of the map that is not being rendered behind the windows. Um, oh, it, is, it is actually pretty nice. I did not look at this ring there wow they have fireworks great i think the biggest question is for this map how is vancouver going to counter the symmetra because the symmetra has been doing all the work getting ultimates faster than anyone else here getting two ultimates so so quickly so that just means like there's a lot of damage output that has not been accounted for and Vancouver has to do something about this they are obviously playing with Mercy now so maybe that helps uh, other than that they still are on the same comp Vancouver, uh, uh, Toronto I mean on the other hand swapped to a tracer here with the Symmetra uh, trying to go for more flanks with the tracer and tracking ball and those Metro turrets already do a lot of work. CD Mac getting very low. Oh, the Tracer is dead. CD Mac probably landing a good right click here, but then dies to the Lucio. Quick West coming in, and the Symmetra is having a little bit of trouble. Has to back off a little bit. Then Titan's dead now, though. So we are in a 4v4. Twant is still waiting for the Tracer to come back. And the Symmetra just doing damage and damage and damage and no one really does anything about it. But now Symmetra finally being contested by the Diva goes a little bit too far, overextends a bit. The Tracer actually swapped to an Echo and Vancouver is going to end up winning this first fight. Uh, again, all about the Symmetra here. <laughs> That's some the Moira players are battling it out a little bit. And... Um, yeah, so far I guess it's been working. Vanessa coming up with an ultimate here should help to keep everyone alive against the onslaught of Symmetra. The echo behind now, a lot of flanking, like I said, on the Toronto Defiant team. An uh, ultimate here from Young X Goff will help keep everyone alive. Symmetra again overextending through her own ultimate. Not intelligently played, in my opinion. And CD Mac getting a lot of work done here. A lot of final blows and I think just to see what he's going to call about his ultimate will swap into comms for Vancouver right now. Okay. Watch for turret. It's all good. Don't Watch for turret. Okay. Watch for turret. Oh! Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice Dink. Shot. Watch this corner still. Watch this corner. There's one on bridge. One on bridge. They're on bridge. On bridge. bridge. Get rid of turrets. Yeah. Keep pushing guys. Get behind it. Get under the bridge. Get under the bridge. Get to there we go, he's yellow, he's yellow, he's yellow, he's yellow. I need healing, I need healing. I can heal you, just get under the bridge. Ah! Lost all, lost all. Zach, you're low. Sorry, I'm down, 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 down. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Alright, peel back, peel back. Peel back, back up, back up. Get out of there, get out of there, we can. You got the sack, get out of there. And Ajax there from CD Mac, who actually landed a headshot to get like a very early advantage in the fight. Um, but then Ajax, so uh, that was like the third Ajax we've seen now, uh, in total in this match. A lot of Ajaxes here. L love, love the Ajax. Um, but generally, yeah, CD Mac doing a lot, except for even like losing ult there. We'll see if Van Titans cannot turn it around because the Zarya ult is coming up very soon. Van Titans here with an early ult though, and if 
Branson, that's his name, can do something here early, then that would mean a lot. Zarya getting very low, and we'll see when does Branson pop. Oh, nice right click. Very early kill on the Sojourn. Branson still not popping. Old, and I think they're gonna win without it. It looks like they're slowly going in, but now Branson with the ult maybe a little bit late. For my taste. The Zarya is wasting ult though, that's so big. After CD Mac got two more kills. So, I mean, if that was a cool strategy, then well played. Ah. Uh, I don't think it was. I don't think there is a lot of strategy in this match. But, I think Toronto just wasted more ults than Vancouver, so I guess good for, good for Vancouver, good for us. <laughs> Um, the Mercy ult there helped as well, but that means, again, not a lot of ults going forward. And Emote can farm people with his laser. A lot of lasers here, actually, on Toronto's side. They have laser comps. Zack going in on the Su Sumatra. Very smart. Shutting the Sumatra down. There was no healing coming in from the Toronto support. Meanwhile, the Mercy West helps keep Vancouver in a 5v3. And such a big Sojourn. E. So much damage here for Branson. Holy hell. Connor with his next ult coming, uh, coming up and it looks like we are getting the first check, the first butt scratch for Vancouver. What does the Moyo do there? Just jumping to her death. Um, Stella, the player manager of the tour to find here a little bit out of position, very out of position actually. And now we can look at what Zach sees. A lot of uh, things going on. And uh, it's fully difficult for Toronto to recontest this. Going to the comms right now, they are down a few ultimates. <laughs> Robbie, <laughs> Robbie, <laughs> Robbie, 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 yeah, not a lot of comms here. On the Toronto side, Vancouver doing very well in terms of com communication, honestly. Uh, from what I've heard so far, uh, it's not been like ideal, but it's been pretty, pretty good, especially for the skill level, helping uh, the helping does scrimming together, I suppose. Zach a bit out of position, but it's okay with him having ultimate. The Wes doesn't come through. Emote gets his second kill here. And um, that looks like a one fight for Toronto this time. But yeah, I mean, 110 meters is a lot. Getting to 110 meters is such a huge accomplishment. And as long as Vancouver is regrouping now after uh, losing a couple members. Oh, oh, CD Mac with Land Titans. Symmetra overextended here. Going a little bit too ham. Maybe a little bit overconfident in, uh, in their ability. And CD Mac now going in very fast. So the, the Vancouver side is playing this really well again. They see the four, 5v4 situation and they just go in. They just go in as a team. They play together very well. And not even the Symmetra ult can help them. Uh, they're just trying to get the last stagger calls. They lose Josh here, unfortunately. But... At the end, they do win the fight. They might have to reset your fast. Oh, do they get the soldier? And that would be such a big kill, but I don't think they do. Um, it looks like they won't be able to get the robot forward much because there's no mag, there's nothing. They are better off just resetting, but Zack, a little bit out of position here, just dies. And um, that's good for Toronto. They, are, they might be able to do a comeback. Connor is just... Oh, Connor using his ultimate? What is this? People are frozen, but no one can follow up on this, obviously. Like, a lot of frozen members here, with both supports were frozen in that ultimate, as far as I could see. Uh, but yeah, no one close to follow up. A little bit of a wasted ult, once again. And uh, Toronto on the, on the forward now. Zawi a little bit low. And there's the double support ultimate from Vancouver. Meanwhile, Lucio trying to keep Zawi alive. Zawi is alive for now, but I think Zawi has to back off. Otherwise, it's going to be hard. Uh, it's going to be frozen soon and Zawi dying here, yes. Uh, Vancouver, again, playing together very well. Van Titans, nice headshot <coughs> on the Zenyatta. And now everyone 
is dead on the Toronto side. That means they are still in control. It is 110 against 34 meters here for Vancouver. A fat fingered Mac? What, what was that? What was that, Zach? Fat fingered his ultimate here. Would have been big. I think he might have wanted to throw it, but kind of messed up. We have a Reaper now on the Toronto Defiance side. I think the Symmetra ult is okay place, but doesn't do too much. The Reaper behind, trying to split off the team, and they're doing well. As you can see, to uh, Vancouver very split, but Van Titans here can do whatever he wants. Kind of been left alone, and now we have a 3v3. Actually, CD Mac getting another kill, turns this to a 3v2, and now Toronto are wasting another ult with the Zarya ult. <laughs> that means Vancouver, one minute remaining, pushes the robot past 100 meters. I don't think that Vancouver can hold here very much longer. I think they're better off falling back, but... Yeah, they're losing Zack here. It's better to just die now. Just just die. Don't, don't use your ultimate color. Don't use it. Don't use it. Okay, okay, that was good. We didn't waste it this time. Um, but yeah, Vancouver. Uh, looking pretty good right now. They just have to win basically one more fight Because if they wait a little bit, this is going to be the last fight for Toronto. Other than that, it's just going to be overtime and uh, Here we go. Connor is back trying to keep everyone alive because the Reaper is Flanking hard. They're trying to focus the Reaper with the entire team But meanwhile they lose the sojourn 4v4 the Sumatra is completely out of position. It is a 4v3. Let's go into the Vancouver comps. CD Mac there with a big play and let's just go and see if we can get the guys on camera in this weirdly faced camera. I'll be right back. There we go, we got the Vancouver guys on camera. Uh, they won this match 3 2, the Battle of Canada staff match. Won by the Vancouver Titans against Toronto Defiant on Colosseo on this last map, winning 3 2. And a lot of kisses there. We see CD Mac. Uh, big play of the game, and now. Big play of the game, and the end there on the May. And yeah, there we go. Big revenge match for the Vancouver Titans. Let's see if we can get anyone here into our room for a for a player of the match conversation. Um, let's see if we can get Connor. Connor. That's great. So we have player of the match here, Connor, CD, Mac, whatever his last name is. <laughs> um, what do you have to say for winning this Canada Overwatch Fast staff match? Toronto Defiant loses 2-3 against you. Big play of the game there at the end on May. Uh, uh, listen, we were just we were just following our game plan. Uh, we're just pucks cheap, pucks that. But, but for real, though, uh, uh, Vancouver wins the Battle of Canada on all fronts. Uh, GG's, but let West Coast Best Coast, don't forget it. Hey! West Coast Best Coast, you found it here. So, Toronto Defiant is out. Vancouver wins this 3 2 revenge for last year. The Canada Overwatch Fest. We have the we have the Anna player saying something here, real quick. Earl Chibi. Hi, everyone. Toronto, you know I love you guys. But we won! Hey!
<laughs> nice um, MVP conversations here at the end. Um, very exciting match. I think it was it was very close. Like first two maps, very close. Then Vancouver turns around, becomes a better team, just takes the third map quite handedly. To want to define it again with the counter on map four on King Soul swaps to the Symmetra and it works. And then on the final map here, they figure out how to play against the Symmetra better, going hard on the Symmetra. It works for t Vancouver Titans and they win the whole series. If you want to listen in, especially to the comms check we did, like at the end of maps, you should go back. Uh, you can see Vancouver coming a lot better, communicating as a team a lot better than to want to define. But with all that said, I shall uh, leave you guys here. This was an exciting staff match. The Canada Overwatch Fest presented by TD. The Titans took on Defiant and the Titans won at the end of the day. Easy map 5. Easy game for Vancouver. Great counters back and forth. Very exciting match. And... Um, the Canada Overwatch Fest here presented by TD will continue for the rest of the month. There's some nice content coming up for our players. Again, my name is Dennis Bowoy. I'm the general manager for the Vancouver Titans. And uh, for the rest of the month, yeah, look forward to some of our players' content. Some of the collab we did with Toronto, aside from this match. Um, but yeah, with all that said, both battles of Canada, both in the in the staff match and the actual match, uh, won by Vancouver Titans, three one in the in the pro game and three two in the staff match. So what does that say about us? Well, you heard CD Max say it: West Coast is best coast. And with all that, I'll leave you and I wish you a wonderful evening. Let's hope the smog clears up tomorrow, and we get a new and bright Vancouver in the morning. Goodbye.